I mean, so I'm learning that a strong black woman is not for my money. I'm learning that she is more committed to the relationship and the components that make up a good relationship. Hello everyone, welcome to the Spot Real Talk. I'm Tierra. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Ron. And today... Well, today we want to welcome you back. I'm back. I know. I promise I'm not going anywhere else. <laughs> so she said. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm here for the rest of the season to talk about power. I missed the conversation last week and the pies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they were good. Were, I mean, but, fantastic. I ordered my, my set. So if you didn't get yours, you know, I have... Maybe I'll put the uh, link up again yeah. for you and uh, go ahead and get those pies because they are delicious. I'm telling you. Yeah, so I'm back for good. But thanks to um, our special guest, Utopia, who, uh, Utopia mm -hmm. who filled in for me last, well, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, she was phenomenal. I loved her commentary. But, you know, I'm glad to be back because this week's episode whew, was explosive. Yes, indeed. Wow. Scorched earth. And was it scorched? Yeah. Wow. So if you guys hang right uh, tight, we'll be right back with you. Louisiana, where the last one burnt you, know that it cool. Wanna show you how I'm nothing like him, swear that's the truth. So you can't trust that Okay, so like I said, we're back and we're talking about Power, episode 609, Scorched Earth. Mm. Man, was this a, a good one. I felt like this was a really good episode, but I was reading like reviews and people had some mixed feelings, you know, um, about a lot of the stuff that was going on, you know, but people, I enjoyed it. People can be rather myopic. They, they want their cake the same way. They want their food the same way. Everything has to taste the same every single day. I like the interchangeable things that are going on uh, with power because I think now with the writing, they don't want us to guess at who's getting it they they're they're leaving up to to the writers and we're finding out on a weekly basis uh what's actually going down i think i like that yeah it's definitely some twists and turns that i didn't expect so but my girl tasha and i'm not going to do it right now but that's on we the note let's put that tasha let's put it there because uh she vindicates me more and more and more but we're gonna yeah. we're gonna table that for a moment yeah we got plenty please to table. say about tasha. please table we'll, we'll come back to that but um, I just wanted to start off with Tommy, you know, uh, the last episode left off with Keisha getting killed and him finding her body, mm -hmm. you know, um, Cash kind of just being left, you know, hanging in the middle of all this controversy that just happened. And so we were kind of speculating at what might happen with Cash. And then this week, his dad turns up, Jesse Williams, <laughs> who comes in to play Cash's dad. Yeah, you know, Tommy brings over, you know, brings the boy over to his dad. And um, I, I really feel for Cash because he's kind of left in the wilderness. Um, he, he still doesn't really know what's going on. And, it's, and you know, it's going to be difficult for his father to tell him that his mom is dead and he has to. Uh, Tommy made an interesting comment uh, before leaving the house, you know, when, um, when his dad asked uh, if he was going to be in his life and he says he didn't know. And we can take that any kind of way, whether, you know, in some ways I respect that from Tommy. And I say that because Tommy knows he's in the kind of lifestyle that cannot raise a kid. On the other hand, he was about to raise a kid with, uh, with the, uh, with, with the, well, he was about to raise him anyway with Lakeisha. So I'm, I'm kind of mixed as to what Tommy is feeling. Cause I'm thinking initially when, uh, he found uh, Lakeisha dead, I thought he would just take cash and you know do do right by lakeisha mm -hmm. so i think that like you said he knows what kind of lifestyle he and he he really can't handle that responsibility on his own and um tiffany you had a really good point um well i i agree with both of you but my I, my take on it was i thought that tommy recognizes that he, he thinks that ghost was the one that killed keisha right and now he knows that he has to get into it with ghosts. So he didn't know if he was going to be alive or not to, when he said, I don't know, I think he genuinely meant, I don't know, because I don't know if I'm going to be alive to be a part of Cash's life. So I, I agree with your point too. And the other thing, I thought, I thought Kadeem was in the bang. That's what I said, where did <laughs> yeah, he come that... from? I, think, cause I thought in one of the previous conversations, 
they talked about him being, being, in, jail. being in jail. Yeah, which so is why he so wasn't he around in the first place. So right. maybe fresh maybe out. that maybe that's true. Maybe he's just you know fresh he's out or something. Good behavior or something. <laughs> uh-huh. See, I already got a spot and everything. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's but that's I'm like, possible. But I'm like, he learned. He said, you need me for anything. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, he's up. You know, he's up for whatever. And I kind of like that. I no, mean, no, I'm not mad. I'm no, I'm not mad at that. Mom, That's right. You know, so I'm down with whatever you do. Down with whatever, but right. he's fresh out the bank. So I'm like, <laughs> how you down for whatever when you fresh out? Because he left his coat. He left his coat still in the bank, so yeah. he knows he's gonna come back and get it at some point. But you see what Tommy does immediately after he gets the call from Ghost, and Ghost is like, "Did you you do what you were supposed to do with the Jason situation? Did you plant the gun?" That was a situation that could have gone. Absolutely the wrong way. The wrong way. And so I'm like, that was the moment when I knew exactly how Tommy was feeling. Exactly. I wasn't sure who he suspected of Keisha's murder, but when he said that, I was like, he said I said, I said it last week when I mean two weeks ago when you t- Tokyo was here. Didn't I tell you? I said, I was like, he this is gonna escalate things between the two of them. I said, because he's gonna think Ghost did it. Cause mm-hmm. Because the day before, you know, Keisha said that the um that dude that cut her had Ghost's name in yep. his mouth. So, yep. I, so I predicted that. I said, man. Yeah, and I guess I, I guess all things flow to Ghost in that sense, but Ghost really didn't know where they lived. I mean, they just moved there. Um, so it, it's interesting that but Tommy... Ghost is Ghost. Ghost can well, find out whatever he needs. Yeah, he but, comes and goes wherever he wants. But Tommy just... Tommy like Ghost. They, they have this rage factor, man. I mean, and it's like a hundred. So when they get to that point, you can't say anything to them. You can't do anything. They are at that point where, look, if I'm going to kill you, I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care what you say. Because when he started speaking with the uh, ghost on the phone, he should have been able to detect that ghost, was up, ghost right? didn't know uh, what had gone down. He was trying to say. Ghost lies so much. That's, that's, yeah, he that's, a that's a, liar, he's too. a good liar. Ghost thinks on his feet. So he's like, you got to think. But, he is, Ghost has lied to his face repeatedly over years, over years, over years and stuff. And he knows how Ghost But if operates. I was Tommy, I would I would suspect uh, 2-Bit and Spank before I would have suspected Why? Ghost. Because of that thing they had, that little beep they had just before that. Uh, I would have thought, you know, maybe... And then you made a comment but not earlier. But people know where, where um, they live. Yeah, I don't, they think, had I don't think they had Well, that's my point. I don't I don't think anybody would have known because well, even Tasha Ghost, though. I mean, well, Tasha, yeah. Tasha, yeah. but that's your girl, Tasha. <laughs> you know, that's your girl. And you know, Keisha was so naive and, like, just not aware. Like, she wasn't on her toes like everybody else was. And so it was easy to just follow her. You see how Blanca rolled up on her, following her. Yeah. Zax rolled up on her, followed her to the she, house. Tasha said she was running her mouth at the, the well, shop. That's well, how Tasha found out well, about Blanca that. Well, Blanca has this infinity to roll up on everybody. Ooh, listen, I, I said, this chick has a lot of heart. Because yeah. I said, when she rolled up on Tommy, Woo. and she didn't even and flinch. Tommy took a step to her. Yeah, he did. He stepped to her, and then she was like, we'll be watching. And she this. didn't back said, up. I'm like, I okay. Said, oh, this chick has heart. I said, maybe, yeah, she I said did. maybe she didn't back up because it was too cold, and she was, you know, her feet nah, were frozen, she, but I'm like, she, you she need did. to know that if Tommy stepped to you like that, mm-hmm. you got a problem. But yeah, you know what? I do like Blanca for that reason, I do, too. I do oh, yeah. She's, she's hardcore. She's that. definitely she, hardcore. She is. No joke. And the fact, like, that she is very, like, she she's perceptive. She could tell that Tommy me. Like she's seen the hurt in his eyes. Yeah, he's heartbroken. He said, "No, she was with me to the end. Yeah. She wasn't going to snitch on me." I but he was like, "You need to do your job." Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I felt Tommy too. I want to see her in MMA. I think she'd do good with that. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, while we're on the topic of um, Tommy, you know, something a little later on down the line happened with Two Bit and Spank, and we mm. briefly mentioned them. Oh, yeah. But I think that there's some trouble looming there, too, because it was already some, like, questioning everybody's loyalty in the crew. And so, like, now that this situation happens where Tommy calls them up and he's like, hey, meet me at the warehouse, and they just sit in the warehouse waiting to get caught up, it kind of looks like Tommy set that up. Yeah, and because he was there. He was there right, yeah. peep, peeping everything, and I'm thinking... Okay, yes, it could have been that Tommy got there late, but I mean, it looked like he, it looked I mean, like he it, it looks bad. bad for Tommy. It, looked, it yeah, looks yeah, really bad. Because you, like, you, you, right. watch. Right. <laughs> because, you know, that. two bits is only a second off Tommy anyway. Yeah, right, so right, for him yeah. to get, you know, to see Tommy peeping while they're getting arrested, mm-hmm. whew, yeah, it's not a good look. Yeah, to them that it was Dre, Dre the whole time. Right. Dre is a Running rat. His mouth. Oh, Dre is a rat. That man's a snake. I mean, seriously, that, what? 
What what is it that Dre won't do? He won't do any. He'll do it. Dre is looking out for, for Dre. Dre. Okay. Big time, you know, big time. And so. he, uh, he just really ticked me off. Like, it's so many times that he should have died since, like, the last season. And he keeps for wiggling sure. his for way sure. out. For sure. I was like, oh, my god. Because he, it, it goes to show, he'll, he'll bite anybody. It doesn't matter. He will turn you in. He will turn over a dime in a minute. Only one Dre has, is that baby. that's the only thing right. he cares about. And, you know, he's dropping dimes on everybody, everybody, you know, and he doesn't care how he does it. But it's somehow or another, when he does it, he always has that other plan behind. So he he's a very he good. Like I'm saying he's a very good chess player. So he knows how to think one think uh, two moves ahead. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's been doing all the time. Well, and I think that's what's got him. And undergoes and came. Right. right. So, you know, he's learned from the no, best. He's best. learned from the best. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. Exactly. I agree. Um, my thing with Dre is just that I'm just waiting for him to get his, like, I'm trying to figure out who's going to take him out. It could be anyone. It could, cause it could be Tommy. It could be two business men. It could be Ghost. Now, after this situation, it might definitely be Ghost. That's what I'm saying. It could be a lot of people, but I'm like, who's going to be the one? Yeah. Because he gets out of this every time. I don't want to get on team Dre. <laughs> okay. I'm not joining that team because uh -huh. I know what's going to happen when I do. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I mean. Yeah, you definitely don't want to. No, be I don't want to be. On, no, it's too early. <laughs> I for don't that. recommend it. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not for my good health. I'm not going to be on Team Dre, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Okay. But I can say this about him, I'm kind of liking him though. Mm. Uh, and I and I you say like that how he moves. I like yeah. his moves. I mean, even though you know he's broken the cardinal rule when it comes to street several times, but it's just the manner in which he does it, he's how moving. he comes out of it. Yeah, and I'm kind of. I'm kind of liking his way of thinking. At first, I thought it was just kind of awkward and, and just all he's over the place. But he's feet. really thinking on yeah. his feet. And he really just wants to be a kingpin. That's all he wants. Yeah, that's all he wants. And, and you can see that, how he set up the call with Jason on exactly. his own. Exactly. That, really, that was really bold. That, yeah, was, that was really was bold. Like, because wow. you're going to skip on Jason with that first meeting, not knowing that Jason might be looking for you for doing that. Yeah. And he's well, sitting up he, here I, like, I understand well, why he did. He had the ankle brace. No, I, I mean, yeah, so I'm good with it. And Jason, didn't, of course, didn't know that. But, um, yeah, I just, I mean, and, and like then this move. telling him, you know, your man Tommy about to get locked up, you know, yep. you're going to need somebody. Uh -huh. So he kind of backed Jason in the corner and we know yeah. how Jason feels about people but telling him what to do. But uh -huh. that's that clever move that, um, that I saw. So he's thinking two moves ahead because he mm -hmm. knew what he was, he knew he was going to uh, uh, drop a dime on Tommy and, and, and Spank and, mm -hmm. and a two bit with Blanca. So he does that. Then he calls Jason and tells, and then, you know, very Shrewdly. Mm -hmm. Shrewdly says to, to uh, Jason, "Hey, you're gonna need a new distro." Yeah. And I'm the I'm I'm that guy. And then the fact that Tommy wasn't returning Jason's calls made it, it look, look, look like, like yeah, yeah. You know, it looked worse. <laughs> <up. laughs> right. And you know why we're on the topic of Jason because like this this whole ordeal between Jason and Ghost, you know. Ghost was supposed to meet up with Jason to be his silent partner and everything. So he shows him the building that they're thinking of purchasing as one of their clean money kind of ventures. That was really smart. It was smart. And, you well, know, Jason, he seemed really convinced. But I'm like, I'm so surprised that he didn't have his guard up more. Because I, I don't think so. I, I think. Um, you see, he had the thing. He had yeah, it. He was well, ready. He, oh, he, he was, was ready. ready. Oh, yeah, he was but definitely I ready. Bought my gun, cause you like. Well, he couldn't go now. through. He couldn't go through security with the gun, so I he know realized. If I would have met him by myself, you know. Well, his uh, part, you know, his. His partner was like, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I think they should probably should have still. Yeah, they should have brought, brought back up, up. Yeah. definitely. And you know, but here's Tommy. Ghost calls Tommy, tells him, "You set it up, I'll kill him." Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what does Tommy do? Yeah, he left. He was upset. He was upset. He thinks that. That ghost killed. But again, he keeps undermining, or, or rather, um, well, yeah, undermining, undermining Ghost in the sense that you ought to know who Ghost is by now, and he's not easily killed. You right. just can't go kill Ghost on a on a humble. But we also know Tommy is so impulsive, and he doesn't that's care the thing. about stuff right. in the moment. Well, that's right. the problem with Tommy. And he was in his feelings, and you got to think that okay. how he's thinking. Like, you Ghost killed. I mean, Tommy killed Ghost's love of his life. And so he probably said, oh, Ghost, he, he got back at me by killing Keisha. Mm -hmm. I got I mean, that. You know, it's a for that. I got yeah. that. But, you know, that kind of thinking, emotional thinking in, uh -huh. in that game will get you killed. Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Which is why most kingpins don't have a you know significant other in the first place mm -hmm. because they know that's where your heart is, and that'll get you killed. So Tommy is just all over the place with his feelings. He's really got to he's got to bring him in. But man, did Ghost show his skills off in that elevator? Yeah, he did. That's that black Woo. man rage. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if anybody white out here looking, but you got to understand, when you got a built up black man and he's ra and he got that kind of killer rage too, Ghost was done. the realization in the elevator, like when he went yep. through the box mm -hmm. and saw it wasn't there. The look on his face, like yeah. his eyes, like you can see yeah. his face on his feet. And he turned right around because he already knew. He already, he already, already knew. He already knew. And because what's name got the text, Ghost, te I mean, text, Tommy text Jason, and it was like, Ghost is going to kill you. I'm like, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah, man. But that was that was a rumble. No, that was that, a rumble. that was a fight scene, hand. and 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 we understand that there were no doubles in that. No, so they, that they looked did their own stuff. that I, looked I, good. I, you know, I saw Courtney's uh, commentary and 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 Gary Lennon's commentary, oh. and apparently they both of them are, are athletes. Athletes, yeah. And stuff. You see how big Jason is yeah. too. So yeah, it was a rumble. Yeah, they. Yeah. I, I loved that performance. I, I was into it. Me too. Well, there were a couple of performances that I was. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of really right. like my girl. But, you know, we'll we'll get to that. Yeah, but uh, that was a that was a good one too. But I wanted to say about Dre, but before we switch that topic, because Ghost also set Dre up to take the fall yeah, for yeah. Jason's murder. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but there again, these two guys, man. I love their chess game. I mean, they, <laughs> yeah, he did. I, that was very smooth of Ghost thinking on his feet like that. Mm -hmm. He thought the whole thing out from yeah. from the security guard, everything. He just thought yeah, everything he did. out. He was well, like, it was already planned ahead of time. The fact that you know he texted Dre from his own cell phone was kind of like the icing on top of the cake. Like mm -hmm. I can kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then he texted um, Jason's Drago security guy, or whatever. yeah, to say. Look, Dre flopped on me. So now I'm assuming that Drago or whatever his name is gonna be looking for Dre yep. for Jason's murder. Yep. So Ghost has completely cleared himself. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he told the the security guard, "Yep, you take care of the footage. You right. never, seen my, never face. seen my face. You call when he when this little nigga show up. <laughs> <laughs> call the cops. And he did just what he was yep. supposed to do. This is the ghost we know and love." Uh -huh. <laughs> He was always there. It's just that he, he family. Fell off for that, fell off. That, <laughs> it's that family of his. I mean, and I'm Tommy included. It's just his family is whack when it comes to what Ghost is doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. this family is whack. Yeah, they are. <laughs> the family is whack. Right, and you know, um, of course, you know, Tommy calls Ghost up and like. I mean, Ghost calls Tommy, you know, after the fact, because he's like, yo, I seen the text. What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. And that's when he finds out that Keisha is dead. You know, this is Ghost's first time hearing that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he has Tommy blaming him. And that's where you can really see, like, how irrational Tommy, Tommy. is. Mm -hmm. Because, like, even though in his mind it makes sense that Ghost would be the one to kill her, mm -hmm. he's not thinking about all the other outside factors that are also a part of this situation yeah. and other things that could have gone right. wrong. It, and that's what I mean. He never takes the time to think. And say, wait a minute. Let me let me put two and two together. It's never that way with Tom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. always an irrational thought. Mm -hmm. Move on it. Mm -hmm. And especially with Ghost claiming he's trying to go legit. Like, why would he right. kill Keish? Like, it just right. doesn't. It, just, it didn't add up. He had no. As far as I was concerned, other than the fact that Tommy killed, you know, Angie, and I, we got that. But I, for some reason, think at least for the moment, Ghost has gotten. A little beyond that because he's thinking about his career mm -hmm. so while tommy is just he just he doesn't tommy it's it's all about the all about the gang life it's all about who i'm going to kill next <laughs> and that's just it well i was just thinking too um in terms of ghosts in this episode a lot of people wanted to roll up on him he kept getting a lot of surprise visits. Everybody. <laughs> he did. Everybody. He was like, this is not the time. This is not. Like, there's too much going on. And did you notice he was drinking the whole... Yeah, he's episode. been doing a lot of drinking these days. He's been doing a lot of drinking. Yeah. I, was I understand why. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I understand why. But you know, he has an alcohol yeah, yeah. problem. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. It's not a good look. But I mean, the kind of pressure he's under, you got Benny rolling up on you talking about, you know, Igor story didn't check out you know he was out of the country so if you don't tell me who it is i'm gonna think it's you and i now, thought that's that some pressure. too i thought that too like you know he stayed at your house 
he gets aired out and you conveniently weren't there. Right. So, I mean, I can understand <laughs> Benny's thought. His thought, there, yeah, definitely. But, you know, the timing of it, the irony, because Ghost was just coming back from the Jason thing and realizing that Tommy set him up. Yep. So that was a smooth setup too, because was. he was able to, well, I think Tommy did it. <laughs> he was able to drop the dime on Tommy, right, right. you know. I mean, but he kind of didn't have a choice in that moment. No, he didn't. Then he was ready to make a move. He didn't, but it was smooth, though, because it was like... Ghost, that, I would definitely give him that. He knows how to get his way out of some stuff, mm -hmm. and he is smooth and believable, too. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm team Ghost. Always. Yeah. Um, Sorry to drop that on you ladies. No, it's hey, good. It is no, the truth. No, the truth is the truth. Good. It's but all good. Ghost also got rolled up on by Tate <laughs> this episode. No, Tate skipped up on Ghost. Like, you know, Tate, need to, <laughs> Tate, you need to understand. You're messing with the wrong dude. Yeah, he yeah. is. You know, because you, you haven't seen Ghost yet. Okay? He hasn't. No, he hasn't. You've seen James, but you have not seen Ghost. And you don't want to meet that dude. No, he doesn't want to meet yeah. Ghost. And, you know, Ghost was on a point. He was like, you know, if I am who you think I am, I would. what's to stop me from killing you right, right now? now? Exactly. And he said, I would have. I would just made you disappear. But right. If I was that, that if, was I, the if I was this person that you're saying that I am, you would have seen it coming. Yeah, I would have disappeared. I know. I, so I was just like, that's a warning, and Tate needs to roll out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He should have then moonwalk back and found his way out. Simple. Mm -hmm. Right. But what do you guys think about um, Ramona and Ghost both switching sides on tape? Because we found out this episode that they're going to go work for Lorette. Lorette yeah. Walsh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lorette Walsh wants Ghost to be her uh, lieutenant, lieutenant governor, which is cool. But I like what Ghost said. So you, you want me to be your black yeah, friend. Yeah, that was good. I like that. Yeah. See, see, that's just she smooth. Like, I like him. I like him. Of course you have to like him. Right. But do you, if that, if that all falls through and, and, you know, Ghost does become lieutenant governor, do you think what kind of power that could give him? I know. That's what he's thinking about. Oh, yeah. And that's why, you know, when we get to... The discussion about Tasha. Oh, we about to get to And we about to get to Tasha. That, all that comes into play, you know, that future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to see if that's, well, Ghost got a lot going on right now. That's so what I'm saying. Know. That's why I'm like, Lieutenant Governor, like, I know. If he could pull that off, that would be the oh, ultimate. We well, know that there are crooks in politics. Oh, we know, definitely. We yes. know that. But right. I'm just like, he has a whole lot going on to be considered to be Lieutenant Governor. Right. Yeah. I wanted to say I'm something. I'm hoping it works out. Yeah. Well, I think that would I, be well, awesome. We might have a family show, so I wanted to tell you, you know, if you replace the T with a D in politics. So that's what we got. And that's why we got it today. We, we have it in this show. You know, politics is a... Mm -hmm. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how about we, we get into the first half of this Tasha conversation. Okay. Um, first off... <laughs> With Tasha and Ghost, because Ghost actually goes to Tariq's school for a parent-teacher conference and finds out from the teacher that Ghost, I'm sorry, that Tariq has a job working at the daycare. But before we get there, but, did yeah, you notice? Up, but he rolled up at the um, daycare and saw it for but, Before right, that, he did see but that. yeah, but okay, we can get there. But did you see that the cop? That means that the teacher was a little oh, high. He looked. Yeah, and he was high. Up. And the teacher was cussing. I mean, can you? And then I was like, did Ghost pick that up though? I'm sure he did. Yeah, because Ghost was like, the way he was looking, mm -hmm. Ghost is very perceptive, mm -hmm. so I'm sure he uh, picked up on some things. And once he figures out more of the story, how Tariq is actually dealing to the teacher, he'll mm -hmm. put two and two together. Yeah, I'm yeah. almost sure because right now I think he thinks that uh, uh, Tariq is just moving weight out of the daycare, mm -hmm. but I don't think he actually knows where well, he and it. how he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, he, but yeah, and, and when he does, it's going to be interesting how Whew. you think Tasha can survive this. But we'll talk about I, that later. That's my I that's my know. prediction. I don't know if she's going to survive this. But I just thought that, you know, I knew that there was going to come a point in time when Ghost would find out what Tasha and Tariq were doing. And so the way he rolled up and he was already sitting in the house <laughs> when she got in there. I love and what I'm he like, said. That's too. how you know. You know what the F are you doing with my son? <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and, come know, on. And I, I have to admit that um, I felt ghost on that. Oh, I yeah. Was, I was, Tasha was foul for that. I told y'all a couple so of episodes ago that I did not agree with her putting Tariq on to the game. Mm -hmm. So I so I felt his rage. He should have um, came at Tasha that way. The only thing I didn't feel was him putting his hands on her. Right. Yeah, except but, that. But even though she, she needed to no, get the well, hands. First okay. of all, she needed to be on our hands list. 
She need to get the hands, and, and she got hands laid on her. And she got the hands. hands. But I'm just saying, domestic. Well, the domestic I mean, violence, we don't condone it. No, we don't but condone it. For the sake of the show. Thank well, you, Ghost, for putting the hands yeah, on her. Yeah. I mean, because as far as the show is concerned, we do not promote men beating up women. Right. However, <laughs> as far as the show is concerned, right on, Ghost. I was waiting for you to cross it with a hook. But you see, you didn't do that. And here's my point. You know the man you, you, you know uh, Ghost. Tasha yeah. knows Ghost. Yeah. So why do you keep elevating his temper to the point that he would do what well, he well, did? Actually, he started it because he was like, I'm going to shut down the daycare. Yeah. No, no, no. He said, I'm going to take gas from Okay, me. yeah, but she, but also, if you had a guy like Ghost, would you involve his son like that? Knowing no, that he would come no, back? So that's, that's foul well, and no, she's wrong. And, and, he, and he had every right And to that's my point. Her. And that's exactly but my point. He did. That's what I said. That I'm enraged him. That, that he, enraged he needed him. needed to go at her. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He did. I, I didn't. He I'm does not want. He does not want Tyreek to follow in his footsteps. I agree. And what Tasha is doing is saying. Yeah, Tasha is wrong. She, oh, yeah. Tasha is foul for that. She is Ooh. foul. So that's, <laughs> that's why you saw that ghost rage yeah, come out. Well, that, you know, the, all six seasons, I always said to myself, I said, oh, the one person he probably would not kill was Tasha because that's the mother's children. This is the first time when I saw, <laughs> saw that. I, I, said, that I said, oops. <laughs> I said, okay. That could change. I, that could change. <laughs> I, I see that he could, look, she could go with ghost hands. Yes, but, indeed. <laughs> because that look he had and when he oh, covered. Oh, he was. Oh, I said, oh. I thought he was trying to smother her when he covered oh, her he mouth. Was getting ready. Oh, he was, you know? oh, he yeah. was about to take oh, her out. I'm, but I'm, you see mm. that look he, after he, like, snapped out of it. Yeah, he, like, he came back and was like, oh, let me let, let me bring it down. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but he, who, he was right there. The he freezer. was right there. He was right there. I sneeze would have done it. Exactly. And he would have. He was about to silver her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. The only yeah. thing I didn't like that Ghost did was giving an anonymous tip about the daycare because I'm like things are already hot like I didn't like it Tariq and Tasha snatched, I didn't like it I didn't like it that. that's I, what he said he was like everybody loves ghosts 50 said that okay time. he said but he was like he the biggest rat on the show maybe but what else can you do he couldn't kill her he almost did he wanted he to probably did, yeah but he knows he can't just kill her so and he also knows that she's not going to stop doing what she's doing he realizes that but because he, she said so, but he and he and then legit business too. And but she got it's not; it's no longer legit, babe. She's running drugs out of it. That is not a legit business anymore. That is a wash. It's a laundry service for drugs. But so see, here's that a, was our only other means of. I got that. Uh, no, or making big money, not money, but making big money. A daycare can make some money now, particularly in New that's York. That's what I mean. So yeah. you can make money. So he, he shutting that down. But my point being is, he had really no choice. If he's going to save his son, he had to do that. Because mm -hmm. you know, we talked earlier. Mm -hmm. it, it would, would it be better for Tariq to just go ahead and get arrested? You know, not that he would have been at that point in time, but something's got to give. And as a father, well, what, what can you do? What, what can he do? Mm -hmm. The only thing he thought he could do was to shut the place down. And I don't blame him for doing that. It's just one of those instances when... Snitches get stitches. I'm just saying, they, Maybe. they already had enough heat on them. You yes. know, Blanco was already sniffing around about Ray Ray's oh, murder. Oh, it definitely... Like, why would you bring more heat to that location? Well... It's already been up in there. That fire's been turned up. I'm just saying, I didn't think it was a good move. Yeah. And then, like, even in that uh, confrontation that... To recap with Ghost when he went to the club and threw his key at him, like I'm never coming back to your place and all that. Like Tariq told him, You you lost me a long time ago. And that was my argument, what I was saying a long time ago about the Tariq and Ghost thing. When I was talking about my issue with Ghost with the kids and stuff, and I, I saw truth in what both of them were saying mm -hmm. because I, I felt Ghost with what he was saying about how he wanted to protect. Tariq and how he came up and his own mistakes. So yeah. I felt ghost. Yeah. But at the same time, I felt Tariq when he said, you're selfish. A lot of things that you do is are, are for you. And the only person that could turn you against and, and, uh, me against you is you. And a lot of things that Tariq has seen, when you think about all the things he's seen, he sees, and remember, Tariq is still a kid. He's seen his father stepped out on his, his mom. Mm -hmm. He moved in with them. He turned his back on Tommy. He, you know, he, he tricked Tommy into killing his own father. Like, from his viewpoint, he's seeing all these betrayals from his dad. So, he's like, she ain't have to turn me against you. You, you did. did. All your all your actions. Kanan, you helped put Kanan mm -hmm. in jail. So, all these, he sees all these betrayals. And he was like, no, 
you did that. formulated my opinion of you. And that was always my biggest gripe with Ghost because, like, I never hated him for any other reason. Like, I don't hate him now. Yeah, I don't But hate I never had a problem with his character outside of the cheating situation. Right. Besides the fact that he loves to shift accountability, and that was my biggest thing with him. Right. But, you know, ha- having Tariq, your own son, come up there and say to you, like, you're selfish. You always shift accountability. You're the only person that can turn me away from you. Mm-hmm. And then he told him at the end, like, don't get it twisted. You know, you might you might think you, um, what do you say? You might have given me life, but you were never mm-hmm. my father. And right. I was like, whoop. I was like, that hurt me. I, I was like, that. I was like, whoop. Okay. But one of the things, though. Y'all done. No, no I'll just say this and then I'll <laughs> yield to you. Uh, I just want to say this, too, about Tariq. Like, why he said all those things. And some of it was true about Ghost being selfish. By him saying, like, you only do things for yourself and you haven't done nothing for me, that's not true. It's because, not. first off, you know, Ghost went to bat to get him back from two You stole, you and stole and my thunder he, because, yeah, see, yeah, see yeah, this is what... That's what yeah, yeah. That, that is it's wrong. And, and it's and just and wrong. You, were, you did this crap with Vincent. And not only he that, he's trying, to leave yeah. the, he's trying to leave the fool a yeah. legacy. Yeah. yeah. So for him to think that his father, I'm going to tell you where he got that from. He got it from Tasha. And this is why I say that. It's because, first of all, all the things that Ghost had done really didn't harm Tariq. Just he wasn't there to be the football dad or the baseball dad that Tariq might have needed. But we all know why he wasn't there because he's in the street. And we all know no, why. He was, in, he was in Angie's house. He was in the street. <laughs> No, and he may have sat there for a minute or two, but <laughs> no, no, he was Come on, see, y'all, y'all can't get that cheating thing out your head, can you? No, no, oh, come saying. on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Ah, give, give that a break. It's got the. It's broken. She's dead. Let it alone. So you know, but I'm saying. I mean to tell you, wear that thing out. But you know, it's it's. I can't even think. I can't even get to my thoughts no, because. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm saying. Yeah, you are but saying. But I'm saying about his role with Tariq. That's what we're talking but about. But my I'm point with Tariq. Size, I get it. My point with Tariq is, man, you look. You decided to go on a path. Mm-hmm. You didn't see what was coming up behind you. Mm-hmm. You didn't see your net worth and what your father was really trying to do. Mm-hmm. He didn't understand the game at the time. His mother never told him the truth. His mother didn't tell him what they were actually doing. Mm -hmm. They were all lying. Mm -hmm. And they had to lie to protect. Mm -hmm. So I don't get why ghosts... But then then she did come clean and tell him everything. And that's what he wanted from ghosts. ghosts. When he had an opportunity... That could have changed. Yeah, that could have changed. And Once Tasha told Tariq the truth, ghosts should have sat him down and said that. But what he did was... He's, oh, your, your, your mom is lying to you. Da, 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 da. So he didn't keep it 100 with him. And and remember several episodes. Do you think that would have ago, really mattered Tariq said, at that point? Everybody's always lying to me. Of course. And that's one of the things, reason why he was drawn to Canaan. But the, the operative word is everybody has everybody, been lying yeah, to her. Right. Not just ghosts. No, everybody's been lying to her. And so end, she came clean and told him everything. She and pretty that's much. What bought, that's what bought him closer to the her. respect. That's what brought them closer. That's why he confessed. Well, we know that, uh, you know, he's going to be closer to, to his mom anyways because she was there to raise him. We I understand that. And but, plus she went through, even though she couldn't stand but Angela, she's, she teamed up with Angela to keep him out of jail. She was willing to go to jail to protect Tariq. And when you think about it, even with the situation with Keisha, you know, the first thing she said to Keisha, was going to, you need to keep Tariq's name out your mouth. So... Basically, she killed Keisha to protect her family oh, and definitely. protect Tariq. So, that's most why said, so he knows that no matter what, Tasha has his back. Right. Yeah, but it was interesting um, <laughs> when uh, Tommy. <laughs> I was going to get there. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start, start that 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 scene. Oh my cause... god. Okay, so this I think this is um Tasha. She she has Tommy in the house. He busts in venting about everything that's been going on. And you know, Tasha tries to put on this front like, look, she's dead. Uh, you know, we were still like whew. I'm like this woman and Tariq picks up on yeah, it. He just side like her like and I'm like, Tasha girl, you are just putting on the award winning performance right now. And Tommy Terrible. for some reason is not you know, he doesn't pick up on the fact that Tasha's lying. Yeah. No, I'm because like, Tasha's whole time, Tasha's never caught a body. Right. Well, the first right. body. 
everybody. But Tommy, it uh, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting. Tommy doesn't have the intellect that Tyreek has. So, that's and, and that's well, one of the reasons. Well, a lot of them don't. Because well, remember, but, they said that Tariq is even better, smarter. smarter than what uh, Close was at yeah, his Exactly. Age. So, and that, I love the look on Tariq's face yeah, when, when uh, <laughs> Tasha was going through that he scheme of like, lies. And he's just. He's just looking. Mm -hmm. I mean, you knew that he knew, he knew mm -hmm. that that woman was lying out of her mouth. Yep. So, and that's why he approached her with, did you, did you kill, um. Well, he studied all of them. Remember when you think about, he set up the thing with Vincent. He was like, I, when he said, you're right, kid, they they would do anything to protect you. And he said, I was right about all of them. So he didn't yep. study everybody. Yeah. But you know, my biggest thing with Tasha is that she would allow Ghost to take the fall for Keisha's murder. Because Tommy said... Really? Well, no. Well, she knows she what? didn't. She said, she said James didn't kill Lakeisha. That's why she threw the Terry Silver thing No, no, no. I'm talking about with Tommy. No, 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 no. With Tommy. Oh. She would allow him to be set up for that? Because she knows. Tommy said, I'm not asking you. I'm just coming to you out of respect. But Ghost got to go. Well, I think she knew. She was right. Rightly believe that's that called, if she knew that Tommy that, that, could kill her, oh, that, we know because, that. because and I think that put to bed. I saw a lot of things online saying some people were just like, "Well, Tommy didn't really love her, and that he was going to marry her, so she wouldn't testify against her." And that may be true. I said, but Tommy was in love with her. Yeah, we we he was. see we see her response, his response now. Right. And they they did love and each he other. He wouldn't have taken cash with him to pick out a ring. Like he actually had feelings for. Keisha enough to involve her son in the process. Mm -hmm. If he was just trying to marry her so she'd shut up, he'd get her any old ring out of Zales or something. Yeah. Is that, and then you see how he broke down when he saw her. Yeah. You know, so it, there were real feelings there, and I think this situation put it to bed, and I think Tasha rightly conceived was, that, yes. that should he know and that, that it was her, that he might have aired that joint out. That's called self-preservation. There you go. She knew exactly she knew. what would happen to but her. That put her out the car. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He put out the car a few weeks ago. So, right, exactly. You know, I just thought that was super foul. It's it foul. Get, but it's it foul. gets worse. It gets, it gets worse. worse. I was like, oh my God, Tasha, you on a roll. Yeah, she, yeah. Girl. She's, yeah, she's been terrible. She's now, been how do you get to a point? <laughs> Your girl. How does she get to a point? Where she drops not a dime. That was a silver no, dollar. Did you I see mean, all the flashbacks? That's how yeah, she got to yeah. a point. I know how she got to the point, but look, that's when you open point. up a... Look, that's not a can of worms. Oh, she was mad at him when she said it's on. When he dropped the dime on her business. Mm -hmm. But also, and in... It will implicate you over time. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You cannot yeah, expect. Thinking. But this is my point with these non-thinking folk, with this emotion thing. Mm -hmm. When you allow emotions to, to drive you like that, you don't think. And what happens? You open not just a can of worms. You got the whole kitchen wide open. Mm -hmm. Man. And so I think that, you know, Blanca and Sax le linking back up. And oh, Sax. Uh, they should have killed him. Go, yeah. They should have killed him. They should have killed him. They should have killed him. Because I'm sick of him now. Me I'm, too. I'm thoroughly I've sick of Sax. I've been sick. Yeah, I've He's been He's about for... to get them in a whole nother can of worms. Well, you know, uh, the planting of the phone, planting of the phone. And, you know, Blanca should have known something uh, because she's well, she's but... savvy enough. When she asked him, did you find anything? Mm -hmm. And he, uh, uh no. Mm -mm. Before we even get to the planting of the phone, the fact that Tasha gave up the location yeah yeah and I, you know what we had this conversation offline but okay yeah, i'm yeah. gonna say it because she knew exactly where the car and the body was and i can only go back where she's asking goes did you kill uh silver where you know blah 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 where's silver did you kill silver if you knew that much detail now this does not make sense in terms of the, how we see the writing going at this point in time. But just what if she had something to do with Silva's death? She and Tommy, which is why she knew exactly where the car was and told, um, you know, Tommy, uh, do, you, do, you, do you think that there could be some, some, some life in that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she knows her, her husband. Yeah. She knows his M.O. plus... Um, but that's I not saw, a place to I just you offline. I, I saw an interview with Courtney Kemp like last season and she said in season six she she confirmed that Ghost killed Silver first off. Then she said that we were going to find out what he did 
with Silver's body in season six. So but it, it's just Tasha is, said, Tasha home. though said, yeah. but what she said was interesting. She said about, she said, if, I think if, if I, if, if I were ghost and I had to get rid of a body and a car very quickly, I would go to X. She knows He's used that spot before to get rid of a body. And that's why she knows. But Ghost is usually not in that impromptu with killing. He's usually very calculated. As he stabbed the drunk, the drunk driver last. <laughs> well, that yeah, was he, yeah, he but can't but be impromptu. no, I didn't say he couldn't. I said he's not usually. Usually, when Ghost kills, he kills. You know, you know, he's but thought not, about but it. But not right. all the time. He killed uh, Lobos in, in a. Um, in, in a, um, a moment of her, you know, of fury. I, I just don't, I, the only reason I can't really get into that theory is because Tasha went so hard and goes like, did you kill, kill Terry? Did you kill, like, she wouldn't have questioned him so hard she and said, fought so know? hard about yeah. the situation. Well, why even bother the question? To Terry's if she knew where the body was, like, if she knew you? where the, that's another thing. If you were you not went, there, stop right there. You went searching. So you go to his office. You know your, your your husband killed him. You also know, now that we know in episode nine, that because he had to get rid of a car and a body, that he would take it at a very specific place. It's just interesting the way the writing took up. place. I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. saying, that is not my, I agree with that. it is not no, my is. theory. I'm just saying the writing makes it very interesting because she did go looking for yeah, him. Yeah, she right. should and have if, gone to the spot and, and confirmed it. You right. know you would have gone to that right. spot. Yeah. If, right. if you knew your husband that well and you knew that that was a spot that he would use, why didn't you go? My and that's all I'm saying. No, my only rationale right. could be that maybe she didn't want to see it that's because you seen when Blanca and them opened the trunk and the body smelled foul and he was all curled up like somebody you love you don't want to see them like that exactly I think she didn't want her worst fears the guy the, the the woman is a G if she really wanted to find him she would have gone she right. wouldn't somebody, have somebody somebody you love you, you uh, suspect that they didn't yeah. she didn't love Silver that much she, oh, Silver was a way out and that's all it I was. I think she had some feelings. She had, time, well, but. yeah, sexual. She wasn't, I mean, she really wasn't in love with Silver anymore than she was, you know, come on. Come on, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take that word for it. I'll take that from you. Care. Well, what do you guys think about Dre planting the cell phone that, you know, um, Sax got from the scene? of Terry, you know, Terry's murder in the car. He got that cell phone. Dre rushes over to Sax's house saying, you know, we need to take Ghost out. I got to find a way. Sax comes with, up with the plan to plant the cell phone in his hotel room. Dre does it. So... I was wondering how he got in there. Yeah, really. But I was just like... It's Dre. He finds a way. I was like, how did he get into this, this room? Right. I mean, but I'm just wondering, <laughs> how is this going to play out? Because for some reason, this goes into my predictions kind of for next week. I think that... All of that is gonna backfire on sex. I think so. Well, well, uh, I saw the previews and it looked like Blanca was asking for, for a search warrant, warrant. Yep. And it looked like she was going and she was gonna find it. So I'm like, is this gonna come out on the eve of the announcement of the for, governor? Goes to, yep. Yeah, and stuff. Is that gonna blow up in his his face? I, see, I can see that happening. Yeah. But except then, that it's very interesting. Why wouldn't he have just gotten rid of it? Why would he? Why would he? It's it, wait a minute. Wasn't it in an evidence bag? It was, but when he but, when but he put it in there, he didn't put the evidence right. bag in there. Okay, because the question would be, why would you save the phone? What good is the phone for, with you? It just didn't make again. And he's it does, already been set up. And, and, right, Ghost well, isn't yeah. isn't a dummy. That's just a dumb harebrain move. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense why somebody would kill someone, take the phone, and then hide it, and not even really hide it, just they put just it in. They just need to connect the dots. The, yeah. the, the, and the situation uh, was... But you can't that's make... That's why I think it's going to Okay, backfire. what I don't like about that is Ghost is not that dumb. Of course not. Exactly. And they've already been through the... After Proctor's getting killed, you know, why wouldn't it have been on that scene? Why would Ghost just be walking around with a cell phone of a man he murdered? And why... A, 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 a good point, because... Obviously, when the place was shot up, the police probably searched the place anyways. So why I'm wouldn't saying. they have found a cell phone Dang. of sort there and say, oh, what is this? You know, they would have taken it just to see what's what. Maybe. I mean, all these are hypotheticals. But what didn't make sense to me is you trying to make me believe that Ghost 
would keep someone a dead man's phone and not even bother to hide it, just put it right. in a, a dresser uh, someplace. It exactly. didn't make sense. That's why I was like, I feel like this is all going to backfire on Sax. I know he's trying real hard to get back in good with the department and everything, but Cause I think, it's going to backfire. I, I believe that when Blanca realizes that there is that, that so-called burning evidence, she's probably going to look at uh, Sax. Mm -hmm. Remember what she asked him, did you find anything? Yep. And he said no. Mm -hmm. She's probably going to look back at him and go, what did you find? Mm -hmm. Yep, I believe that. That's a good that's a good prediction. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it looks like in the previews for next week, you know, gosh um Ghost he's also saying that, you know, I'm sorry for the way things have turned out and he's talking to Tasha and she's like, Oh, not as sorry as you're gonna be and so I'm like, Well what does that mean? You know, is is Tasha hinting, you know, at the fact that she snitched on him? She could be, or yeah. maybe she's talking about the conversation with Tommy, with Tommy saying he got to go. Yeah, that too. Well, maybe a lot, all of that, but Tasha. Oh, and, and yeah, and plus, yeah, the silver thing, yeah, she probably knows that's mm -hmm. coming. That self-preservation with Tasha is deep, and um, she's willing to just lay it all out. Doesn't She well, She she is ready for Ghost Well, you know leave. what she did, though? It, they threatened Tariq. Because mm -hmm. she said, Blanca said, if you don't tell me about your ex husband stuff, we're gonna start. We're gonna come down harder on, on Tariq's yeah. whereabouts with the um, Ray, well, Ray Ray. Well, it's not it's necessary what? now because you've opened up your your, <laughs> your everything that uh, that that your your family stood for is now up for um, scrutiny. Yeah. You, I, you I just opened up everything. Done with yeah. Tasha. Whatever yeah. happens to Tasha at this point, and, happens. And I, I understand. Care. I understand payback, but you had to given it some thought Jeez. that if that if you implicate him on this body thing mm -hmm. it's gonna blow back on that it's gonna blow back everybody. on everybody you didn't know you you couldn't see that no she just, just was, acting out of emotion she's, yeah she's a snake guy yeah. you know yeah. everybody was snitching this episode everybody snitched. every single everybody. character was snitching instead of saying this is a big rich town they should have said this is a this big snitch town <laughs> absolutely okay how about that oh maybe For we real. can maybe we can change the lyric on that <laughs> yep <thing. laughs> drake ghost tasha I mean, my gosh. Oh, and even Tommy to an extent. But everybody, because he, he's because he's Jason. Told Jason. But it all flows back to Ghost. Everybody wants Ghost. Ghost got it coming from every angle. Every single angle. He does. And I'm just interested to see if, you know, next week is the mid-season finale. Mm -hmm. So is this going to be another situation like how it was when Angela arrested him? Where, you know, right before the end of the season, Ghost is in the beam. But you know what? That would probably be expected since they did that before. Mm -hmm. So I think they might want to do something different for them. And party. that's where I think the Blanca situation yeah. can come in and realize that that phone was planted. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think that's a perfect prediction um, for that situation. And then like also in next week's previews, there's this little um, moment that Tommy and Ghost have where they're having a conversation on the roof. And Ghost is kind of saying like, you know... Um, I I mean, I don't need you. You need me, but I'm walking away from you at this point. Leave me behind. Yeah, and, you know, Tommy's kind of like, so you get everything you want and I get nothing. So that's why I was like, oh, Lord, what's going to yeah, happen I was about to say, here we let's, go again. Yeah, here we go. So any predictions? Uh, other than, well, I made mine, so. Um, long-term predictions? I, think I, was, I, I, I have, have some long-term, too. You mentioned this to you earlier, but I think that Tariq is going to have to end up killing Tommy at some point. As much I don't want that to happen, because Tommy is, like, one of the most genuine people on this show. Mm -hmm. Even though he's so irrational a lot of the times, he's 100 with you. He is who he is. Um, but Tariq, I feel like at some point... Tommy's going to find out what Tasha did to That's Keisha. my prediction, too. <laughs> Tommy's going to find out, and he's going to be gunning for Tasha. Yeah. And I think Tariq, you know he's how gonna he's going to have to step up. Like he said, you know, why didn't you tell me? I want, I, I'm want. i supposed to be protecting you. He said, yeah. yeah and I'm, so I'm I think he's going to start stepping into that role of being his mom's protector, and I think he's going to have to take Tommy out. I think he'll take Tommy out. I think he will protect Tasha against ghosts too, if he has to. Mm -hmm. I, I I could see him pulling. You, you heard what he said. I'll murder you myself. He and then I just was like, wow, that. I was wondering how he got away from ghosts. Ghosts <laughs> saying all this stuff. A any, but I was, anybody and, and else? Ghost was hurt. If it would was, have been anyone else, that would have been the end of that. But yeah. that was his son. He couldn't do it. He said, yeah, he knows if he had put his hands on him, he would have killed him. He would have killed yeah. him. Yeah. Oof. Right, man. It's it's. 
So I am excited for next week. I am. I think too. we should go live. I think we should go live again, y'all. What you yeah, think? Well, if, we will, yeah. Uh, well, we'll look at it and see what happens. And, and perhaps maybe you all should tell us whether we should or not. Yeah, um, let us know. That'd should be an interesting point. Mid-season finale, let us know. Yeah, that would be awesome if we could. I think everybody would enjoy that. Yeah. But um, you guys, make sure you let us know how you felt about this episode. Um, give us your commentary, your predictions. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We are at The Spot Real Talk. Um, you guys have any comments before we close out? I'm good. I'm good, too. Oh, and sub- subscribe. And you've been doing a wonderful job. Uh, just keep it up. Anybody that you know that uh, has not t- uh, tuned into us, you know, hey, hip them to what we're doing out mm-hmm. here because... Uh, I love you all's comments and the family that uh, we've created uh, with you guys. It's just phenomenal. So let's just keep it up. See yeah, what goes thank on. Thank you to all of you guys who just wait in anticipation of our posts. We love reading those comments too. Like everybody says, so what do y'all got to post? That's so cool. But, yeah, and, but we will be up. And stay tuned. All right. Well, we are going to close out until next week for the mid season finale. Um, we're going to say goodnight and have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.